Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So this week, well, this week I did a lot of different landscape drawing and paintings using a lot of different media. Um, I did on my Patreon page, I did a video showing some of those, well, all of those different landscapes and talking about the different media that I used. But for this video here on YouTube this week, I thought we'd just focus in on one of those paintings, one of the watercolor paintings, because I wanted to say a few things about watercolor. Now this video is aimed more at people who are new to watercolor or newish, or people who are maybe thinking about getting into watercolor, but not quite sure if it's going to be for them. It could also be of other interest some of the general ideas to other people, but I think those people who are new to watercolor, that's the main group maybe that this video is focused at. I started using watercolor about three and a half years ago. I got back into art about four and a half years ago, maybe about four years ago. Before that, long, long time ago, when I was young, I did a lot of art and then I stopped doing art. Now, when I used to do art, when I was in my say twenties, early thirties, I used a lot of different uh, media. So oil paint, acrylic paint, soft pastels, colored pencils, pencils, oil pastel, all kinds of different things. In the end, I sort of narrowed it down to Sometimes I used acrylic, sometimes I used soft pastel. Those were the two main media that I used. I never used watercolor. I never tried to use watercolor. And the main reason was I kept hearing people saying, well, watercolor is a very difficult medium to use. Um, it's probably the most difficult medium that you can use for painting. And I believed them because I kept hearing this from lots of different sources and different people. And you know, it's one of those things, if you hear it often enough, you think, well, it must be true. All these different people keep telling me, so you know, there must be some truth in it. So that's why I never use watercolor. But as I say, when I got after a few decades of not doing art, I got back into art and I decided I was going to stop listening to those people because I still hear, I still see YouTube videos even today, people saying watercolor is the most difficult medium to use. But I chose to ignore that and decided I would try some watercolor painting, see what it was like. And to be honest, I have not found it to be in any way different or special or especially difficult. It is no more, it's not easier, but it's no more difficult than trying to learn to use oil paint or acrylic or soft pastels or any other medium. There is a learning curve associated with it. Of course there is, but it's not an impossible learning curve. It's not any steeper learning curve than any other medium, in my opinion. It's just what I have found. So looking into it a bit more, I think it kind of depends on how you're trying to use watercolor. You know, every medium has its strong points, weak points, pros and cons. And if you try to use a medium in a way that it's, it's not a strength, then it can be, it can become frustrating and difficult. And I think that's maybe part of the problem. People are trying to use watercolor as if it was oil paint or acrylic paint or something like that. And that's when it can start to become maybe frustrating. If you embrace the nature of watercolor, if you accept that, for example, if you're painting wet in wet, which is the way I always paint with watercolor, I think it's a fun way of using watercolor and it brings out the unique properties of watercolor. But if you're trying to paint wet in wet and you're trying to do lots of details, for example, you will find it a very frustrating medium. If you're the kind of person who wants to be in total control all of the time, you'll find watercolor to be very frustrating. On the other hand, if you can let go a little bit, accept that there is a bit of chaos with wet in wet watercolor painting and that you can't really do fine details, then watercolor is, as I say, no more difficult than learning to use anything else. And in fact, it, 
it can be really a really good way of bringing out sort of abstract or semi-abstract um, landscapes and things like that. It's a really good medium if you're into that kind of thing. And you can get effects with watercolor that you can't get with any other medium. You just have to accept the nature of watercolor and try to work with that rather than trying to use it in a way that it's maybe not so so easy. If you want to do lots of details, there is a way that you can use wet in wet painting, putting down, say, lighter colors, lighter values. Let that dry completely. And then you go in and you start with darker colors, darker values. You start to add in some details. And I've seen people doing that, sort of painting in layers. It's one way of doing it. I don't do that because I'm not really interested in all the details. I just want big shapes, bright colors. So I just do the entire painting in one go and the whole thing is done wet in wet. Another thing about materials, maybe again for people who are new to watercolor, there's three basic things that you're going to need. Uh, paint, paper and brush. Of those three things, and again, different people will have slightly different ideas, but to me, the most important thing is paper. If you're going to try and economize on something, don't do it on the paper. The paper is really important. Really good 100% cotton paper that's specifically designed for watercolor painting. That's what you need. If you try and do watercolor on some sort of drawing paper or sketchbook paper or who knows what type of paper, you're going to struggle. It's going to be a really frustrating experience. If you've got a limited uh, amount of money to spend, get yourself some good paper. Second, I would say paint. Um, I prefer tube paint. I really, you can buy watercolor painting, those little dry blocks, um, little pans, colored paint blocks, which I detest with a passion. I cannot stand those things. Um, I always use tube paints and I would recommend anybody else to use tubes of paint. But some people like those little dry blocks of paint. So I would spend some money on the paint as well and get you don't need to buy 50 different colors. Two or three colors is more than enough to get started. Um, but try and spend a bit of money on the paint as well. And if you're going to economize anywhere, probably the brush is the place to do it. Um, you can get reasonable brushes, reasonably cheap. And in fact, you don't even have to use a brush. If you're doing this sort of abstract painting like I'm doing, or sort of semi-abstract if you like, um, I've seen people using all kinds of things, palette knives, all credit cards, um, their fingers, whatever. It doesn't have to be a really fancy brush. Um, some watercolor brushes are ridiculously expensive. Um, I would say I'm not sure that spending a hundred dollars or something on a, a brush is necessarily going to be a good way of spending money. If you have that amount of money, that's great. I would go with the paper and the paint first. Um, the brush would be the cheaper thing that I would go with. But that's just my idea. Some people put those things in different orders. Okay, so that's just a few words about getting started in watercolor painting. Uh, hopefully it was some interest or some use to somebody. Um, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching and listening and hopefully see you again in next week's video.